Texas, the nation's top beef-producing state, is in the grips of a drought that's forcing ranchers to pick between raising cows or slaughtering them. Radcliffe has already begun to cull, selling 50 animals from his 500-head herd earlier this year. When the drought first hit, we booked and shipped 50 mama cows. They were older mama cows, and they might have gone and had another baby for us, but rather than wait on them to have another baby, we went on and shipped them to the, to the meat factory, and I'll call it a meat factory to make it sound good. Since mid-July, more than 93% of Texas was in drought, ranging from moderate to exceptional drought, according to the United States Drought Monitor. Exceptional drought, or D4, the highest level, is classified by widespread loss of pastures and crops, as well as water shortages in reservoirs, streams, and wells creating emergencies. As of the middle of August, more than a quarter of Texas was in exceptional drought. The grass is gone. The cows are beginning to lose weight. The cows are weak because there's no protein, so we're getting rid of a lot of cows. More cows sold to slaughter means fewer mature cows birthing calves. Texas accounts for as much as 14 percent of the U.S. cattle herd, and one way or another, consumers are going to feel the effects of the drought at the butcher shop and the grocery store.